So, we do another problem on the probability distribution. Find the probability distribution of the number of doubles, this is also called doublets, in three throws of a pair of dice. Now, when a pair of dice is thrown, <coughs> how many samples, what will be the sample space? 36. For every one that you get, there are six possibilities, and for every two, there are six, every three. So, for every six, there are six. You can also maybe ones. So, so if this is dice one on this side and dice two on this side, okay? Dice one, dice two. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6, 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6. Why have I written it uh, uh, for not for doublets? Because many a times what happens, they will ask you the probability of getting a num number greater than 12. Okay? So, this comes handy, maybe it takes some half a minute or a minute to write. So, so you will find this is summation of 2 and this is summation for 3 and then this is 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 9 and 8, 10 and 11 and 12. Okay. 12, 11. Okay. Doublets are these, what we are interested in are these. Okay. So, these are the doublets. Fine. So, what is the probability of getting a doublet if I throw a pair of dice? It is 6 by 36, 1 by 6, right. So, probability of getting of getting a doublet, a doublet is 6 by 36 which is 1 by 6. Probability of getting a non doublet. Yes? This is one throw, but, but let us be sure about one throw, then, then we will go for three throws. That will be obviously 1 minus 1 by 6. Either you get a doublet or you do not get a doublet. There is no other way. So it is 5.6. Now, what values will x take? So, you throw a pair of dice, either you get no doublet in all the three, this is for all the three, okay. Either you get one, either you get two or you get three, all three. So, you get no doublet. Now, I am trying to find out the probability distribution, no doublet. If it is no doublet, then it is 5 by 6, 5 by 6, 5 by 6 multiplied thrice, correct. So, so you get no doublet, no doublet, no doublet. So, 5 by 6, so it is 125 upon 216, okay. Then you get one doublet. Hmm? How do I get one doublet? I get a doublet here and no doublets there in the other two or I get no doublet here, a doublet here and no doublet there or I get or I get or I get no doublet, no doublet and a doublet, correct. Is it understood? So, these are the three ways in which I can get a doublet you will become more proficient with this the moment we do the binomial 
distribution. Hmm? So, so a doublet and a non doublet and a non doublet. So, this is actually what? Hmm? This is actually what? This is a doublet. So, 1 upon 6 into 5 upon 6 into 5 upon 6. Due to this or, I get plus and then it is 5 upon 6, 1 upon 6, 5 upon 6. You see the same thing is getting repeated, jumbled. So, 25 by 216 plus 25 by 216 plus non-doublet, 5 by 6, 5 by 6, 1 by 6. Okay. So, I get 75, 25 into 3, 75 upon 216. Is that okay? Hmm? Let us calculate for this two doublet. See, I am writing like these arrows and here and there. You will be writing it properly. Okay. So, so here it is. How do we go about this? Maybe. I am doing it here. So, I get a, I get a doublet, doublet, non doublet or D and D or N D D. Okay. And this is what? What is the probability? So, 1 by 6, 1 by 6, 5 by 6 plus 1 by 6, 5 by 6, 1 by 6 plus plus 5 by 6, 1 by 6, 1 by 6. So, this is this is 5, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah obviously. You will have to work it out and show. Uh, how, how will you, how will they give you marks? Otherwise, it is a sitter. So, 5 upon 216, 5, so it is actually 15 upon 216. Hmm? 5, 5, 5. And all the three doublets, 1 upon 6, so 1 upon 216, 1 upon 216, sum them, 125 plus 75 is 200 plus 15 is 215 plus 1 is 216 upon 216 is 1, simple, absolutely simple, hmm? but it will it will test your fundamentals on actually permutations and combinations that you rest assured. So, we will we'll deal into, we will go into that 11th ka fundamental a bit, so that you do not, you do not falter in finding out these values. Hmm? It is very important. Hope you know the product rule and the sum rule, all of you. Mm -hmm. When to apply product, when to apply sum. Fine. Yes, roughly that. But 